One of the issues with Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi is a shared uh, technology, which means different devices are going to have to contend for access. So a few, only a few years ago, if I had 10 or 20 people in a room trying to access that network, the network could support it very, very well wirelessly because 10 to 15 people is not a lot. The problem is now, instead of having 10 to 15 people on Wi-Fi, I might have 50 people trying to connect, and each one of those devices, or each one of those users, can have two or three devices on them. So in that same square foot area where I used to have to support 15 or 20 devices, now I may have to support hundreds of devices. The problem becomes is now all those devices, they all see a very, very strong signal because I still have the same coverage of the area, but now I've got 200 devices competing to access to maybe one or two radios, and that's where your degradation in your network comes down. So what happens is people come in and say, yeah, the network's not working very well. And a lot of times they might just throw more APs at the problem without thinking what band are they operating on, what frequencies, what channels are they operating on, and a lot of times just by throwing more radios at the problem, they're actually making the problem worse, not making it better. So what's important to do is when you have more people bringing their own device or more people using corporate devices to be able to identify the Wi-Fi capabilities of those devices and separate it out by the available channels. You've got the 2.4 band, which only has three channels, and you've got the 5 gigahertz band that has up to 21 channels. If all your BYOD or all your Wi-Fi devices are operating in the 2.4 band, you've got very real little room, very little capacity, whereas if they're operating in the 5 gigahertz bands or both bands, then I can leverage all those available channels. And the way you get, the way you're successful in Wi-Fi is having as few as people possible sharing a single radio. And what we try to target is not more than 15 or 20 people per radio, and then you're going to have a wired-like experience. Wi-Fi absolutely is a future. You really in many ways, you don't have a choice. I've been in this industry for quite some time, and over the last 15, 20 years, typically vendors would try to tell the IT directors in the enterprise, this is what you need to buy. The problem is it's the other way now. It's what's called the consumerization, that people are bringing their own devices in, whether it's smartphones or tablets or their own laptops, and you really have to support it. And the easiest way to see we're going to a wireless network is try to find a smartphone with an Ethernet port. Try to find a tablet with an Ethernet port. And even think about your own laptop. How many times do you actually plug it in versus just use the wireless, whether it's the cellular side or the Wi-Fi side? So wireless has become the edge of the network. It's you know, only two or three years ago, it was a contender to be a peer of Wired, but basically it's exploded over the last 12 to 18 months, and it has become the predominant edge-type connectivity.